And Alan Skirton, knowing he was a right-footed player, someone must have shouted at him, ran across the field from the right-hand side and stood on where it was break. He's now trying to kick the ball with his right foot, and he, he can't. So instead of just throwing it at something, he got it went. <laughs> and he punched him right in the mouth. And he fell down in, uh, at the side of him. And the referee was up in the, at that half with us because we were waiting for the kick out. And the referee, I can't, don't know who it was, but he started to he started walk back towards the, the back. And, and little Billy went flying past him, the referee. And he ran up to Alan Skirton, who was lying on the field with his hands in the air like that. And he walked up and he went. And he stood on the back of his hand. <laughs> and Alan Skirton shot him off the ground and went after Billy. And Billy's running past the referee coming this way and he's going that way. And we're chasing him up the field over the other side. Because he was going to send Breaky off. His, off yeah, he was going to send Breaky off. Yeah. So and the referee said. went. Yeah. <laughs> Take the kick. Yeah. They left him lying there, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Cut on his fingers. Uh. Um, See, obviously, the Leeds team of that era, they had this tag of being a dirty side, Jack. But were you a dirty side? Was no. Is that, that unfair? I, I, totally, I totally disagree with dirty sides. I mean... We were in the second division, Jack. We were evil. The second, the second division? <laughs> well, no, I, was, I, was, I don't even remember the second division. That, that was the division to get out of. One, that was the one we had to get out of. We yeah, were yeah, quite fierce, out. weren't we? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we weren't well liked, big man. Uh, uh, but listen, yeah, good teams, all great teams have to be able to compete, have to be able to tackle and then go and play. And that's exactly what we could do. That's why we were brilliant in Europe, because we could go there and we could defend and defend well and then know we had the ability for somebody in the team to go and get one at the other end. So, you know, we may have been dirty, but uh, well, I would we, say we were a great enough. side. No, I, I would say uh, quite physical. I would say... Uh, Jarzy was quite physical. I would say you were quite physical, Norman, quite physical. Uh, I wasn't, because uh, Big Jack used to say, don't kick, didn't you, Jack? No. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> said, don't, don't kick him. He said, don't, don't kick, kick him. him. Don't just, kick him just yet. Just pick him up and tell him you're sorry. Just, just pick him up. You've got to listen to him. Yeah, and talking about physical, you know, there's there's, there's one guy. It is, uh, it's a true story. It's, I, I hope I don't get in trouble for swearing here. But uh, George Bess, I would imagine, was uh, the player with the most skill I've ever played against. Uh, but the problem was that Leeds against Manchester, it was 10 against 10. Because wherever George went, I had to go. So this particular game at Allen Road, uh, I think we were 2-1 up at half-time. I've been around George all the time. Uh, the only time I've ever been struck on a football pitch was against George. Half-time came, I got about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour. After about uh, five minutes, a gaffer said to me, go to the toilet. It were communal toilets at Allen Road them days. I said, I'm all right, gaffer. He says, no, go to the toilet. Now, he'd just seen... George goes to the toilet. So when I go in his cubicle, he's not particularly happy there. <laughs> so the, the second half starts. 20 minutes into the second half, uh, I'm behind George again, talking to him. And George turns around and whacked me. Now, in our day, you don't go to ground. Whereas today, one or two just might fall a little bit and roll about for 15 minutes. In our day, you have to stand and be hard or whatever. And just as he, he hit me, uh, I stood up. And within six seconds, Norman came across. Now remember, it's 40,000 in, in the ground here. Uh, some of the crowd saw it, some didn't say it. And Norman just said, go over there. So I had to change positions with Norman. Now Norman's behind George Best. As I'm walking away from George, Norman's saying, now you're Irish bastard, you got me for ten minutes. And George looked and said, I'll have you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that, was right. that, that was a true no. story. True story. Thanks, Norm. The old ones are the best, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jack, did you have a black book? Uh, no, I didn't have. I just had a good memory. Yeah, yeah. Had a good memory. You, you, you remember certain people in certain games that have that have done something really nasty to you, and you, 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 you no matter what you think, you won't forget them. And if you get an opportunity to get him back, you, you, you would. And well, in our days, and I mean nowadays, it, it happens all the time. I mean, we knew how to tackle. They don't know how to tackle now. Every, they're going in down two feet, and they, 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 they punching and shoving and carrying on. We, we had to leave it up until such times as a, a, a player was in a certain position going after the ball and you could get the ball, but then you could get him. In other words, that was legal. And uh, I had a few. <laughs> you did, you I had a few did. that I had in my mind that had done me and done me nastily. And... Uh, Waited to get them back. I won't mention who they were, but 
we won't mention his name, but you did get that guy, that good tackle at Ellen Road, didn't you, Jack? Oh, when, when he took it on his chest, yeah. and then it was just dropping to the floor, and you just accidentally caught him. It on was your 50 50 because he went with his chest, and Jack went with his <laughs> He just two, caught him with your boot yeah. in the middle of his chest. And he shot him. I got away with it. He well. shot him off ah. the pitch, didn't he? Yeah. He went off the pitch. And, 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 he only and the gave referee. A, and he only gave a free kick. Do you know, in our day, Jeff, in, in, in our day, referees, great referee, you could talk to him, you could put your hands uh, round the shoulders or whatever, and you got a tackle. You was allowed one, one tackle, right? So he used to say to Norman, whoever it was, Jack Taylor, make it a good Norman, you only get one. Yeah. You know? And after that, then you were in trouble, wouldn't you? Never got, very rarely, very rarely in our day, Jack, you got booked for your first tackle, no. did you? No, you know, no. Don Revy used to say, just let him know you're there, you know, and you used to go in and tackle him and then pick him up and say you were sorry and things like that, but uh, never got booked. Never? Never. never.